If we're asked to round 3, 4 to the nearest whole number, then what we need to do is, what we're really being asked to do is to say, well, what whole number is closest to 3, 4? Now, let's just think about our whole numbers. What are they? They're 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, etc., etc. Which are the ones that are close to 3, 4? Well, obviously, the ones that are close to 3, 4 are 3 and 4. Now, let's just look at this in general. When we're looking at what's closest, right, let's just see what we need then is the halfway mark. And the halfway mark between 3 and 4 will be 3.5, 3,5. Then, anything that's in this section will be closer to 3 than to 4. And anything that ends up in this section above 3,5 will be closer to 4 than it will be to 3. And that's all we need to do to round. Where is 3,4? Well, 3,4 sits over here. It's below 3,5, so it will be rounded down to 3. So what we can see we need to do is if we need to round 3, 4, what we do is we have a look here at the number just immediately to the right of the whole number. If it is smaller than 5, it'll be in this area, and so it will round down to 3. If, on the other hand, we had something like 3, 7, it's sitting over here, so if we look just to the right of that whole number, we'll see that the 7 is above the 5, and so it will round up to 4. Let's round to the nearest tenth now. Let's start by having a closer look at that first question. We've got 18,3184, and we want to round to the nearest tenth. So the first thing we need to make sure, this is the tenths, right? 18, 3184. So we know then that it's lying somewhere in between, this number lies somewhere between 18, 3, which is the tenth that's below it, and 18, 4, which is the tenth that is above it. Watch the halfway point. It's 18, 3, 5. So anything that lies below that will get rounded down to 18, 3, and anything that lies above 18, 3, 5 will get rounded up to 18, 4. So what we need to concentrate on to decide whether it lies below or above is really just the number 1 to the right of the tenth. So if we're rounding to the two tenths, we look at the number 1 to the right of the tenths. And because it is just a 1, we know that it's going to be in this area below 18,35, and so it'll get rounded down to 18,3. Let's do the same with the next one. We got 18,3615. We're rounding to the nearest tenth. So again, we've got this picture of lying between 18,3 and 18,34. And we need to look then at the number just to the right of the tenths to decide whether it's above or below. Well, it's a 6, so obviously it's lying somewhere here above, and so it will be rounded up to 18 comma 4. Okay, you try quickly now. Round 18 comma 3451 3, to the nearest tenth. Pause the video and do this in your homework books now. Okay, again we're in the same picture. We're in 18 comma 3, so we're lying between 18 comma 3 and 18 comma 4. We look, because we're rounding to the nearest tenth, we look 1 to the right of the tenth, and we see that it's a 4, so we're sitting somewhere over here, and so we will be rounding down to 18,3. Okay, let's look at another one now. If we want to round 4,6219 to two decimal places, what we're rounding to is the second decimal place. That's over here. So what we're talking about is we're talking about 4,62 that lies below, 4,63 that lies above, and the halfway point is 4,625. 
So when we have a look to see whether we're going to round down to 4,62 or up to 4,63, we look immediately to the right of that second decimal place. And we see we've got a 1 there. That means we're lying in this area, and so we need to round down to 4,62. Similarly, if we had 4,62, 262 two, and we're rounding to two decimal places again our focus is there and so we need to look one to the right of that and if we look at the thing to us to the right of that we see it's a six so we're lying in this region so we round up to four comma six three all right you try the next one pause now and do it in your homework books and we'll go over it Okay, again, we're going to the second decimal place. So we look one to the right of that. That's an eight, so it's somewhere up here. So we have to round up to four comma six three. Okay, let's finish up by looking at rounding to the nearest thousandth. Um, okay, so if we want to round, say, six comma three one eight one to the nearest thousandth. Okay, we're focusing on the, we're rounding to the thousandth. So that's the thousandths position. So we know we've got 6,318 below, 6,319 above, and 6,3185 6 as the midpoint. So if we're rounding to this nearest thousandth, we know that we need to look at the number just to the right of that. And if we look at that, it's a 1. So it is here below the 5. And so we're going to round down to 6,318. Now, if we look at the next one, we've got 6,3186. We're rounding to the nearest thousandth, so that's what we're trying to round to. So we look at the thing just to the right of it, and that is a 6. 6 is bigger than 5, and so we will round up to 6,319. All right, I want you to try now, rounding 6,3185 to the nearest thousandth. Pause and try it. Okay, so this was a bit of a trick question. 6,3185 is right here, exactly in the middle. Now, it's exactly in the middle, so it's not closer to 6,3183 or to 6,319. It's exactly in the middle, halfway between them. But what we decide to do always is that if it's exactly in the middle, we're going to round it up unless we're told differently. So it will go to 6,319. So to summarize, whenever you're rounding, you always look at the thing just to the right of where you're rounding to. If it's bigger than 5, you go up. And if, if it's 5 or bigger, you go up. And if it's less than 5, you go down. 